Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Google Summer of Code for the Jenkins Project Office Hours. The date is January 29th, 2020. My name is Marky Jackson. I will be the host today, and uh, we will go ahead and get started. Let me uh, share my screen. Should see the, I posted the link to the Zoom as well as the document in the Gitter channel. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and start with the agenda. Before we get started, I think it's just so far just org admin. So if you have any questions, feel free. Well, at least I will uh, end the meeting earlier then. Okay. So just in case somebody is watching, uh, yeah, when we have uh, Google Summer of Code, if there is no people showing up and asking questions, um, after something like 15 minutes, we close the meeting. So even if the meeting is scheduled to 45 minutes, please don't expect us to stay online uh, till the very end if there is no participants. Okay, we'll go ahead and get into the agenda. First item on the agenda is list of experts in Jenkins, what to do and road ahead for student queries. So yeah, there have been a lot of student queries. One of the things that I've noticed is a lot of students are pinging directly. Uh, and I'm trying, for the ones that ping me directly, uh, if it's the first time they've done it, I will answer their question. But at the end of my answer, I'll also say, and please ask this in the Getter channel for Google Summer of Code. That way, if somebody else has that question, they have the opportunity to see what that answer may be. Uh, for students that are doing it multiple times, I won't answer like one, one more time, I'll answer their question and then end it the same way. But in three and four times, I'm letting students know, hey, I need you to ask this question in the general channel. Yeah. So most of the questions, uh, it is advisable that students ask in the GSOC channel. That is correct. Yeah. So what is our recommendation, uh, GSOC channel for organizational matters for getting started? Uh, if you have uh, whatever deep questions, uh, which you really require subject matter experts, you have common channels like Jenkins developer mailing list and you should go there. Uh, there is no particular need to split the community and uh, direct messages are not an option. So for me, I would prefer to avoid publishing a list of subject matter experts anywhere because it de facto encourages uh, people to ping directly. Okay, okay, makes sense. Mm -hmm. I'm going on yes. mute because I'm traveling. Okay. Yeah, uh, just to explain, uh, for example, I receive a private uh, message about Google Summer of Code every day to my inbox, sometimes in Gitter. I have a canned response, uh, but uh, yeah, Marky is doing a good, uh, good job answering uh, uh, questions in first time. In my case, uh, if the question is not really reasonable to be asked in private, uh, if I cannot answer quickly, I redirect uh, to channels almost immediately. And yeah, apparently people do not show up. Uh, well, the most of them. So. How do we want to add, how do we want to handle for students that are asking questions in the Gitter channel? I think the questions fall along the lines of two, two varying degrees. One is general questions. And I think for that, I'm catching them pretty quickly. I have sort of a canned response for general questions. But uh, for more pointed questions, such, such as more deeper technical questions, uh, if it's on a various project or proposal, how do we want to handle that? Yeah, so first of all, uh, the most of our project ideas uh, reference specific channels. So for example, we get a lot of questions about Windows Service Wrapper, but if you go to Windows Service Wrapper project idea, you may discover that uh, they need the platform seek channel. 
And if people go follow uh, the recommendation and ask wherever you have uh, more experts answering their questions. Yeah, and some channels also have uh, project specific channels. For example, Mark Wade created the Git plugin, um, Gitter channel for Git pro well, also for Git project ideas. And this is the channels uh, we should use as a first entry. So I will start typing as well. Uh, I would like to, for the students uh, that are, I think we do have some students on the calls as well, some uh, mentors. For the students, we have not assigned students to projects yet. So it's okay to definitely look at a project and even start lightly generally understanding the technical aspects of the project but students have not been assigned. Right, and just to clarify yet, uh, we will be assigning students only during the project selection phase, which will end uh, in late April. So it's uh, almost three months from now. Mm. Okay. Does anybody have any questions regarding uh, student inquiries? Okay, I will go ahead and move on. If you do have any questions, please do ask in the Getter channel. Mm -hmm. Moving on to the next open action item, org admin application review. Oleg, I'm going to turn that one over to you because I don't think we've actually set a time to go over that. I know some of the drafts have been moved. Yeah, so I can uh, set the time. Uh, so we have an application deadline on February 5th. It means that this is a hard stock of application and we need to submit a final version by then. Whatever changes after this date, they basically take no effect uh, for current application. Um, and uh, yeah, it's uh, one week left. Uh, also, in a separate email to JSOC mailing list, I said that uh, due to unexpected business trip, um, I will basically disappear on uh, February 3rd. So if somebody expects uh, me to submit the final version, then uh, it would be a hard stop. On the other hand, uh, Martin and Marky can also update the application. Uh, they have got all the permissions. Uh, so uh, I'm not a blocker there. Hello, Oleg. <clears throat> can you hear me? Yes. Uh, hi, sir. So. The thing is like last time we have, uh, is there any, uh, I came just now, is any continuous discussion going on? Yes, we're in the middle of the meeting. Okay, okay, so, so I will talk end of the, after that. Okay. <clears throat> uh, Oleg, in terms of the application deadline for the project, uh, mm -hmm. I will start going over that today. Uh, I have a presentation that I'm doing later today, so it'll, it'll be this evening that I'll start going over that. And then uh, I'll ping you with questions to make sure that I'm on top of that. And then I can sync with Martin and then we can go from there, but we can take care of that. Yep. Mm, so it's perfectly fine with me. Usually how I approach it, if there are pull requests coming from others, uh, then uh, I integrate the changes <clears throat> into the entire application and measure pull request after that just to ensure that uh, it's all consistent. Because okay. uh, there is no automation or whatever, you have to move the things manually. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, link uh, the page on the website. But again, uh, it's not our application, it's uh, a draft. So whatever you uh, change today, you may need to make sure that it's uh, propagated to the JSOC website. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the application is already submitted. 
so even if we do not do anything, the current application will be submitted. All right, uh, I will go over one, that. Yeah, it's 100% complete. Um, it was accepted in previous years, we uh, updated some things, but yeah, uh, if uh, you want to make uh, changes, for example, Mark was concerned about lack of machine learning labels a couple of weeks ago. So it's probably time to propose uh, these suggestions. Okay, yeah. I will go through that. Mm -hmm. And then I'll sync, I'll sync with you and Martin uh, offline. Any, uh, anyone have any questions regards to the application for the project? Awesome. If you do, please just drop a note in the Getter channel. Uh, Marky, note. applications as in you're talking about the GSOC application for Jenkins. That is correct. Not the project applications. No, I went through it. I mean, I don't have any questions from my side. Okay, thank you. Moving uh, uh, moving to the blog post copy editing, that is you, Oleg. Yeah, still a work in progress. Uh, so yeah, I wanted to get it over the line uh, today, but yeah, as I said before the call, I had uh, my laptop uh, applying updates. <laughs> so I'm still in the middle of merging my uh, drafts and finalizing them into the new branch uh, I created uh, after this course merge. Uh, but yeah, I uh, hope we can get it over the line today. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any questions about the blog post for copy editing? Martin is checking his oven at the moment, I guess. Okay, I'll move on to the moving project ideas to accepted state. Uh, I'm back. Hello, Martin. Hello. We have uh, one of the things I'm not sure if uh, you caught for oven check is uh, the application for the org is due February 5th. The application has been submitted, but if we want to make any changes to that, uh, I know I have a change in flight that needs to be done prior to February 5th. Yes, so I got all of that. Okay, awesome. Then we are we went and talked about the blog post copy editing, and that is still a work in progress with Oleg. There is the uh, move project ideas into accepted state. Uh, I know the machine learning has moved into accepted state. Uh, the Git project uh, draft has moved into accepted state. Are there any others? Yeah, I moved. To, uh you my project ideas uh, but not all of them and basically all other potential mentors didn't act so far for example uh, uh christian uh, she's on the call automatic specific specification generator for rest api uh, other things so we still need uh, to move uh, these viable ideas yeah and i need to make a pull request <clears throat> for um i guess like to actually submit the one project idea that um, we've been kicking around in in a Google Doc and draft over for the uh, plugin. Yeah so, or, or, yeah, so I just need to, I guess, just make the pull request for that, and then we can move it over to. Yeah. So what uh, we commonly hit during these stages, um, we enforced uh, format with um, um, newbie friendly issues and quick start guide. So it's one of retrospective feedback. I want to have these sections in all the project ideas. And last year, they were missing in some. Another thing uh, which makes sense uh, to double check when you move the project ideas to just ensure that all text is actual because some uh, issues have been fixed, uh, some issues uh, um, uh, may be added to the scope, and yeah, maybe also review of new friendly issues. But, uh, if everything is done, it's quite easy to migrate. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Mm -hmm. And I guess now we can, does anybody have any questions in regards to moving applications into accepted state? Mm, one concern I had is about applications with TBD. Because yeah, we have two projects uh, which were uh, championed by Martin. This Artifact REST plugin and Jenkins uh, REST plugin. So yeah, what we discussed last week, I'm 
would be interested to move uh, them out of the active list, maybe to the bottom um, somehow, so that uh, they receive less traffic. Uh, but these are in accepted, correct? Yeah, they're in draft. But uh, for example, artifact request plugin is one first uh, in the draft. And uh, my gut feeling that we still uh, receive uh, a lot more queries about it in uh, Gitter than about the uh, ideas below. Yeah, so mm -hmm. we c the only way to hide it is to simply remove the file, isn't it? Is there another way to move it down or to... Mm. Well, I could tweak sorting a bit. Uh, right now it's just a sort of alphabetical order. But yeah, we can uh, do something uh, the more com uh, sophisticated. Do we want to do something sophisticated? It, because it means you're going to have to change the Hamel file uh, and what about create the, another the, state. I was about to change the uh, Hamel file anyway because I see that uh, there is more and more need to have um, links to the mailing list. So just uh, ideas under discussion which are not published as YAMLs. We have really good proposals, but uh, they haven't been submitted yet. So maybe I'll uh, move it to the same section. Just ideas which might happen, but uh, which uh, didn't uh, get uh, commitment uh, from anybody and which haven't been submitted for formal review. Okay, I've made a note that uh, that's uh, you're the that's on you, Oleg. To yeah, that. that's on me. So it's a relatively minor thing. So my our our main goal is to move uh, ideas which are ready to be published and uh, which we can iterate on uh, to the accepted state. This is uh, the top priority, but if we can also tweak uh, the rest of the backlog, it would be fine. Okay. Mm. But yeah, anyway, it's on me. Okay, any questions about the current uh, projects? Mm. Okay. Maybe not question update. Um, there is still no information from the Jenkins X side, so the topic we were discussing before. Um, I'm meeting with Kara and other Jenkins X folks uh, at FOSDEM. And yep, if uh, there is no information uh, after that, if there is no project ID submitted, we will be removing Jenkins X from our announcement. Okay. So it's something uh, for your information with regards to application, because if I don't have information, I will submit a pull request to remove Jenkins X entirely. Okay. Anybody have any questions in regards to that? Hi, yes, I'm having a question. <clears throat> can you hear me? Yes, we can. Yes. Uh, the, so previously I have been like, uh, I'm going, I was going through the REST API plugin, but uh, no, recently in last meeting, uh, Martin sir has uh, mentioned that he's not going to mentor that anymore. And uh, mm -hmm. so I guess the project is not going to continue, I guess, right? As it stands right now, that is my understanding. So I have means um, as uh, <coughs> Mark, sir, as you have uh, sent me the link of another project, uh, the automation one. Mm -hmm. Hello. Yes, we can hear you. Yes, uh, we can hear you. Uh, so today you have uh, <coughs> sent me the automatic uh, specific space. Specification generator for Jenkins REST API, right? Yeah, automatic specs generator for Jenkins oh, okay. REST API. So, I, I am I was going through that. So the thing is like, uh, I didn't get what is the documentation for REST API. Maybe you should take a look. Uh, so, have you checked out the uh, Swagger, uh, which is linked? No, sir. I have, yes, I just I have gone through the Open API one. Yeah, open API one is smallest similar. 
Yeah, I was going through that GitHub page of OpenAPI and I was reading uh, why we use that and about that. Mm -hmm. So one of the pointers you might want to take a look at um, uh, this summer we had a project by uh, Vude Sharma uh, for um, a folder authorization plugin and the role strategy plugin. And as a part of this uh, project, uh, we created um, a Swagger specification for the plugin. So it was created manually, but it's something uh, which could be used uh, as a kind of initial study for you. Okay, but. Um... Okay, sir. It's not so clear, but uh, I will go through it again once again through the doc once again because even the doc was Martin sir has a, <clears throat> added some features in the doc, so it was not so clearly mentioned. So I will go through it once again. Do you mean automatic specification generation doc? Ah yes, sir. Even I have gone through the doc of that. <clears throat> so. Yeah, updating the documentation is a part of migration from the draft state uh, to the final state, because, yeah. yeah this idea is definitely, uh, definitely in some action. It was too uh, clumsy, like, I mm -hmm. felt it was too clumsy, so... Mm -hmm. <laughs> it looks like it's actively being written Edited. on right here. But I think what they're referring to is the links. Mm -hmm. So uh, in the, sw the swagger portion here. Yes, sir. Even the big bucket project is also good. Uh, even uh, that is like uh, the REST API one from big bucket uh, REST API, right? In Jenkins. Mm -hmm. Even the project was also good. So if uh, I want to try one of these two. Even you're saying you want to try one of these two? Uh, yes, sir. As a reset, I uh, means I have much interest in REST API one, but as it is not being served, so I will go through one of these uh, Bitbucket or automatic specification generator. Okay, just a second. I want to clarify what those two links are. Those two links, the first one is a link to the actual Bitbucket REST API documentation, which is an example of what documentation of REST API looks like. And the second one is the same kind of link to Artifactory REST API. These are not links to the other two projects. Yes, sir. The other two Jenkins projects, they're links to Bitbucket documentation okay. and Artifactory documentation. Does that clear up your question? Oh, yes, sir, yes, sir. I'll go through them and if I can see it, I will make it to get clarity. Okay. Oh, like you had your hand raised. Did you have a another question? Yeah, I just wanted to again clarify what draft means. Uh, so we have uh, ideas, and if you have potential mentors, you still can run these ideas. Um, Orca means can uh, help to uh, find uh, to find uh, potential mentors. Obviously, no guarantee. Uh, but uh, in order to iterate on that, we need to see that uh, there is interest in these projects and uh, there is actually perspective of, of uh, students applying. So yeah, we see, for example, that you are limit, uh, you're interested in these projects. We could uh, do best effort to find uh, mentors, I guess, after the application phase. So if you get accepted, uh, we could do um, what we can do to have somebody instead of TBD in this list. This project's idea is still may happen. Thank you, Oleg. Mm -hmm. Is there any other questions from anybody online? Hello, sir. Uh, can I hear you? Yes. Uh, so, 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 should we continue to work on this artifactory REST API, any REST API project? I'm sorry, can you repeat the question? Uh, should we continue to work on this uh, REST API project, sir? Uh, well, so that's a two part question. The first part uh, is working on the projects. Again, these have not been assigned to any student. No, sir, uh, means, uh, I was working on proposal, so should I continue it or not? 
Uh, this, as it stands right now, this particular uh, draft, it does not look like it's going to continue. That may change, but at this point, it is not. Correct me if I'm wrong, Oleg. Yeah, it's uh, right. But if you already have a proposal draft or whatever, you can actually uh, try to facilitate it from your own. For example, you can uh, bring it up in the Jenkins developer mailing list uh, or another channel and see whether we could find somebody as a mentor. Uh, yeah, that's how it works. Um, if we don't have mentors, we need to facilitate this activity. Uh, Orchid means can help. Uh, but uh, we will be doing that only after we know that uh, Jenkins is accepted to Google Summer of Code, of code as a project. Because if we start thinking uh, mentors right now, uh, we cannot guarantee that uh, basically uh, the project happens at all in principle. Uh, but it doesn't block you, for example, if you have any kind of draft, uh, submit it, uh, try to raise visibility because we may find uh, mentors this way. Yeah, and sir, uh, project document, uh, there is one more mentor mentioned. So, is there any issue with that mentor? But can, you re can you repeat the question? Uh, sir, in the project document, there is one more mentor mentioned. So, is there any issue with that mentor? No, what, what, okay, so maybe there needs to be some clarification. With this particular project, it's a draft. So that means somebody yeah. proposed it. The, the person that proposed it cannot maintain the project, so they cannot be a mentor. So this particular project may not continue. What Oleg is saying that the option available to you is, is to solicit a possible mentor via the dev mailing list. Okay. Yep, I guess the question was a bit different about another project with a mentor listed, right? Yeah. Which project? So, which so. project? Uh, the RD Factory project. RD Factory race project. Yeah, so, no, that, so, okay, yeah. I think it's the same question, Oleg. Like. Yeah, because RD Factory project has no mentor list. If you ask about another uh, project, for example, Bitbucket plugin has one potential mentor uh, listed in the list. So we... Yes, sir, in the last page. Oh, uh, it has left yeah, over. The yeah. 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 So there is no mentor for this. So same thing. You have the option to try to solicit somebody to mentor this? Sir, uh, but in the potential mentors, there is one more man. Yeah, it's a kind of a potential confusion because the DCD was submitted uh, initially in 2019, I believe. Um, and yeah, since uh, Christopher Nancy didn't reply for this year, we didn't put him on the list. Uh, Martin, maybe what it makes sense, we could just uh, kill this metadata at all because we already have this metadata on the JSOC side. I mean, potential mentors and uh, one section above because we can just delete it to avoid confusion. The whole section here? No, this, yeah, sec because, uh, this section doesn't make much sense because we, we used this section in the previous year just to have this metadata for website submission. But the same metadata is already on the website. So it's a duplication at the moment. Okay, so I'll delete the potential mentor sections from the Google metadata. Docs. And the project and metadata. All of project metadata. Yeah, yeah we yeah. have that. Yeah, we just don't need that anymore. Okay, makes sense. Yeah. Less maintenance. Okay. Okay, uh, thanks for bringing it up because yeah, I didn't think that uh, this metadata may be a cause of confusion. Yeah, cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, is there any other questions? Uh, maybe it makes sense to follow up uh, on this question, uh, well, in a form uh, as I misunderstood it. So if you see any project idea, whether it's accepted or not, all mentors are potential mentors. 
So what it means is that the car seat, there is no uh, uh, rock solid commitment from anybody in this piece because commitment uh, comes only at the stage of project selection. When uh, mentors uh, review uh, submitted project ideas, when mentors uh, review submitted students, and only after that uh, explicit commitment happens. So at the moment, uh, there is no guarantee that, uh, so we will have more mentors in the list, especially if you get accepted. Um, but yeah, at the moment, uh, none of the mentors is 100% uh, confirmed, if you wonder about that. And it's how JSOC operates. Is there any questions in regards to that? Okay, it is there any other uh, writing in, but yeah, that's how JSOC appears. Um, Kristen, I have a question for you since you're on the call. The automatic spec generator for Jenkins, there's been many comments. Uh, so should we be resolving some of them? Olegos also commented, actually. So should um, we be resolving some of them? Sure, yeah. Yeah. I guess it can be done as a part of uh, immigration to a YAML format because it will have to be done there anyway. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Um, mm -hmm. And also, I guess it shows that people, it is it's still an active project, so, or something that people can work on. Yes. Okay. Yeah, personally, I would be interested to mentor this project this year because we have a lot of activities around uh, better UI uh, UX, and I cordially mm -hmm. believe that uh, having uh, good REST API is the first step uh, on any big journey uh, you would take in this direction. Okay. Any other questions? Okay, if there's no other questions, we can start to wrap up. Okay. All righty. Uh, Oleg, I will be taking the February 5th meeting. Okay. Thank you, because here. that one I will uh, miss for sure. This awesome. time I was quite lucky to get here in time. Okay. If nobody has any questions, you can definitely, uh, if you should have questions later on, you're more than welcome to ask in the, uh, the Getter Google Summer of Code uh, channel. And if, again, there's nothing else, we will see you on February 5th. Okay, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Have a good day, evening, night. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you, everybody.